Hey guys, Bessie's Five Avengers here with a somewhat special video. I am recording with the lovely and intelligent Simsley Symbiote, or April. <laughs> Say hi. Aw, hi, that's really sweet. You're super smart too. Aw, thanks. <laughs> now, um, before we get into what the video topic is going to be today, I have to explain a couple of things. We're experimenting with a new chat software, and so there is a slight delay between our you know, conversation, and there might be a little bit of static, so we're going to kind of have to stop a little bit to catch up, but hopefully things should be going okay. All right, so anything, any comments before we get started? Yeah. Um... No, not really. Okay. All right. So um, I get asked this. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. See, here we go. Already issues. <laughs> yeah, no, I said, I said I think I'm good. Okay. All right. So um, I get asked this question often when I'm doing a live stream or when on my YouTube comments or messages. And then today we got a comment on a video and I'm going to give credit where credit is due. Uh, Loving Chocolate Chips left us a comment and she pretty or he or she pretty much asked, um, could you create a video talking about the ups and downs of creating a Sims YouTube account? I'm thinking about starting one when The Sims 4 comes out. So I thought about that and we've. April and I have been talking about YouTube, like, uh, we talk about YouTube often because we both do it, and we were talking about it recently, and we were just kind of like, we should probably make this video and just get it all out, because there's a lot of things that you're probably not going to hear from anybody else besides the two of us, and we both offer a unique perspective on YouTubing and making Let's Plays for The Sims 3 and other games. I've been doing this for almost two years now, and my channel grew very, very slow, and April has only been doing this for about six or seven months, and her channel grew super fast, so we kind of have different approaches to what we did and different ideas about YouTube and how YouTube works and what to do and all of that crazy stuff. So we're going to be talking about that today. This video will either be multiple parts or it'll probably one super long video. So hopefully you guys find some of this useful. You find it informative. Um, it might be kind of brutally honest, which is brutal at times, but we're going to try to give you as much useful information that's true as possible. So want to get started now? Sure, yeah. Okay. So, um, tell me about how you started out your channel. Like, what steps did you take? What did you do? How did you start? Okay. Um, it, it, very shortly before I had my channel, I, I discovered Sims LPs. Like, I hadn't even known about them for a while. And um, when I decided to do it, I thought, well, you know... I could just start doing this, but I really want to sort of hit the ground running. So I watched a ton of LPs, um, you know, particularly a lot of the big LPers, you know, um, and I watched like, as many small ones as I could find. And then I thought about how those videos made me feel. Um, you know, the ones with higher sound quality were obviously more pleasant. The ones um where people were were more the uh, more honest about how they were feeling and things like that to me that spoke uh, volumes more than people you know simmers who sort of gloss over how they feel and that's okay if they do that but mm -hmm. you know to me it felt better to see that um and then what i did is i I initially had a kind of a crappy mic because I saw a number of things uh, in, in blogs and across the internet about how, you know, if you want to get started, just go ahead and get yourself a cheap mic and it's okay. And I got to be honest, it's not. Um, I got myself sort of a, a like a Logitech desk mic and it wasn't great. It, it didn't sound very good. So while I don't recommend that you spend a fortune you're definitely going to want to shop around and look at reviews in order to find out sound quality. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes you can get deals and things like that. But but yeah, buying like the cheapest mic you can find is not not a great idea. Not at all. Um, and then after that, I want no. After that, I wanted to carefully choose a name, and uh, I ended up actually having a channel before this that didn't have any videos, and it was called Symbiote. And, you know, it was a pun, because Symbiote is actually spelled S-Y instead of S-I. And um, so I was like, oh, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. 
and then for some reason YouTube sort of lost the account and when it came back I couldn't get back into it and it kept saying my password was wrong and it was sending a thing to a different email so I don't know if it was like immediately hacked or something it was it was weird so then I was like okay I want what I do to be immediately identifiable to people because I felt like that would be a lot simpler um, so I did Sims 3, Symbiote, but now, of course, that I'm doing other games, I regret that. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, um, how I got started. My, my mother purchased a, a very nice mic for me. I started out, um, with, with, like, you know, editing software that, that helps me make, like, cleaner videos, and I just did a ton of research. Mm-hmm. And that was the, the Okay, that's a little bit of static. Okay, so about me, I did the exact opposite of everything that you just said. Not exactly, but pretty much. So I was, I started my channel in October of 2011, so I just turned 18, and I was, like, starting doing some college classes before I was going off to my, like, major campus, and I was getting really nervous about going off to school and doing all this stuff and the public speaking aspect and the actual you know, being able to express myself in a way that wasn't in print, because I like to write, and so I feel like if I write things down, I'm safe, but I can't talk, I can't vocalize or verbalize my feelings or what I'm thinking well, and so I was like, okay, I have to find a way to do this so I can be prepared, and I tried everything that you're supposed to try, I tried reading out loud, I tried, you know, like, talking to people, nothing really worked for me, and I I was a big fan, I just love watching Let's Plays, I, I can watch someone play a video game, any video game, I could watch someone play Call of Duty, I can watch someone play Civilization Five. I can watch someone play The Sims all day, and it's fun, I, I enjoy that, so at the time, I was watching a ton of Civilization Five and Sims 3 Let's Plays, and I thought, this is perfect, it's a great way for me to enjoy what I do, which is playing video games and watching people play video games while practicing on my speaking. And so I made a channel on a whim. I chose the first random name that came to my mind, which is from a cartoon. I um, picked a game that I liked. Um, no, no thought went into that. The microphone situation, I had a similar experience where I bought a cheap mic. I bought a Logitech. <laughs> Logitech mics were not great. No offense to them, but they're not paying me, so I don't care. Their mics are not good for this purpose. And so I wasted $16 on that. I went back and I got a Planetronics microphone that cost me $100, which was a better sound quality, but there was a problem with the sound being distorted. And so a lot of my early videos that are no longer up on YouTube, but they were very distorted. Whenever I got loud, the sound would cut out and it would be a disaster. Um, my computer that I was playing on was not ideal for playing a video game on there were good computers to do everything else besides game. The graphics card was not correct. The processor was not perfect. It was okay, but it wasn't great for gaming. Um, the sound options, I couldn't really do a lot because I didn't have proper speakers, so the quality of the videos were not good. Yes, I could render my videos in HD, and, and so it would be in high def, it would be in 1080, but if it doesn't look good on the computer, it's not going to look good on the, um, on the screen when you're watching a YouTube video. And then to make it so bad, I was starting college, and when you're doing that, you have all these other things going on. You have your classes, your social life. I didn't have time for YouTube, so I got about 30 parts of Let's Play posted, but I stopped abruptly in the middle of that because I had to start doing my stuff, and I stopped my channel for about a year. So when I was in the process of transferring schools and not doing anything all day, got my channel back up again, I lost all of my subscribers and all of my progress. So then... I had to buy a gaming laptop, which cost me almost $1,000. I had to buy a better microphone, which was cheaper than my original mic, but this one is a better sound quality. My um, editing software is still free, but it, because I don't want to spend a lot of money just putting clips together, I feel like it's going to be okay. Because I have got a proper processor and a better graphics card now, the videos actually look right. And I've slowly been starting to get better technology so that the videos actually look good. And the big thing is that YouTube is very much an investment. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money, but you're going to be spending and putting a lot of money in to get something out of it. So kind of keep that in mind. And your time is a really big thing as well. Like mm -hmm. having time to actually record, upload, engage with people is a big thing. If you don't have time to do this, don't start it. If, you ha if you're in the middle of school, if you have other things you have going on in your life that you can't accommodate a s an uploading schedule and a recording schedule, that's going to be regular. So people will see your videos and you can have like a you know, a good program, I guess, like, not program, but, like, a good something, a good something going, whatever you want to say, then don't do this, so, mm -hmm. yeah.
Um, and because yeah. of all of my setbacks, um, oh, go you first, sorry. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say, because of all of my setbacks, like I had to, like there's a penalty for that. I didn't have the proper start, so my channel didn't grow. I didn't know anything about metadata. I didn't know anything about, you know, like promoting yourself. I didn't know anything about how to, how to present your videos in the correct way and how to do these things. And so I'm, you know, the subscribers weren't coming in. When if you know those things and you're prepared for what all this stuff entails, then you can actually do a decent job, you know? So that's all I was going to say. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I was going to actually say a bunch of people are always asking me what computer I have. Mm -hmm. And, um, Hopefully, people watching this will remember. Uh, I have a Dell XPS 8300, mm -hmm. and um, it is a gaming computer, specifically. Um, it has 12 gigs of RAM. It has a huge amount of front-side bus on the processor. Uh, yeah, it, it's basically, it's it's flat out a gaming computer, but yeah, people are always asking me, and I'm going to say it here so that maybe they'll remember. Yeah. Because um, it's, in, it's in the description of my videos. It's at the bottom of my of my. my People don't description read description bars. Every time. People do not read description bars. I know, right? <laughs> they don't. So I'm also mm -hmm. a gaming computer. My, this computer is a gaming computer. It's like a Dell and Spawn. I'm not sure of the exact model number, but it's a Dell and Spawn. I have the good processor. I've got two hard drives. I've got a good graphics card. Lots of space. Lots of RAM. So, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. put this specific good information stuff. around. It's good stuff. Yeah, I should, like, a lot of people make, like, a WordPress blog or something. I should do that. Or I just put it on my website. But, like, guys, this is my computer's best. Please stop asking. It's really okay when people ask. It's just one of those things where you get the question so much and then I don't remember it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I, I maybe I should just put it in a file or something. I don't know. And then, then I can, can remember. And that way they can <laughs> also always see it. Yeah. 